Man, ever since our game went free to play, we're not making as much money. You got any ideas? Okay, hear me out. We make a car like usual, right? That's worth like seven, eight hundred credits. But what we do is we add some really bad wheels and other items that no one actually likes. And then we call it a bundle and double the price. So it's like 1500 credits. That's a great idea. That's just what I envisioned as to why this car costs 1500 credits. Like it looks cool and all, don't get me wrong, but like, like really like two wheels and some items that I'm never going to use make the car double the average price for a car. I wasn't actually gonna buy the car, but I just did my taxes yesterday and found out that I'm getting $90 back. Hell yeah! So I figured full send it, right? So here we are, we're just gonna buy it. Instant regret. So apparently this thing is the Octane hitbox. I don't know what they're on at Psyonix headquarters, but it looks at least four feet too long to me. I don't know if you guys share my sentiment, let me know. But I saw a visual hitbox representation and like not even the wheels matched up the octane hitbox is literally like 70 percent of the size of this car it's not even close to a matchup so i would expect right off the bat air dribbles to be a bit weird and just shooting or hitting the ball in general because there's like a dead zone in the front of the car because the car is literally like a foot longer in, in front than it is on the hitbox and same with the back so it's going to be misleading for flicks as well so I wouldn't expect a lot out of this car, but we're gonna hop into ranked and find out. Right now I'm sitting at 1597. Also check out that one's rank. Ooh. One more thing to point out about this truck is if we look at it here, it looks totally level, right? But in game, I swear the back end is like four feet lowered. It's like they put a lift kit on the front only. It's probably just the fact that there's a truck bed and I've never, or we've never seen a car with a truck bed before, right? So it's kind of, that's probably what's throwing me off. It's probably just a placebo, but it really feels like the back end of the car is so much lower. So I guess that's why they haven't really done any trucks before, because it's just not really good for rectangular hitboxes, right? Because the hitboxes are the same height all the way throughout. They don't dip off at the end. So I think that's why it throws you off. All right, after using the car in free play for a bit, it actually felt pretty good. I'm actually shocked because I thought it was gonna feel terrible since the hitbox doesn't line up at all, but apparently it doesn't matter with this car, even though I always complain about that. So I'm not really sure what the deal is there, but we're, we're going to find out if it's actually good in game or not. Would have been good if I could pass that, but I didn't see my teammate until I already shot it. So uh, I thought our teammate would be behind us there, but that works. Oh, that's a good fake. He has possession now. Oh, almost a nutty flick. If you could pass that middle. All right, I'm going to try to like air dribble this. Oh, bang. Wow, what a powerful flip reset. But they somehow double commit for a ball that wasn't threatening at all, so I'll take it. We at least forced out a bad touch from them, so that's all that really matters. Uh, I should have just gone up. Now I have to save the shot, so that's not ideal, but it's not a big deal. Let's see if we can just shoot it. Yeah, it looks like they left the net open. We spotted that. That was a good job spotting that there. Um, I don't know why it was open, but it was, so we take those. But yeah, this car actually is pretty good for dribbling as well, which is also surprising. But I mean, I guess it's the Octane hitbox. I just thought the fact that there's a giant hole in the back of the car for the truck bed would mean that it wouldn't be good at dribbling. But it surprisingly is. So we're going to go for something nutty here for the YouTubes. Couldn't hit it though. It's a decent attempt. Almost expect to score those at this point. Hopefully, Oh no. <laughs> going to say hopefully our team has that, but... If that back boost spawned, I definitely would have got there, but we just couldn't make it, so unfortunate. Probably could have boost pathed like, using the small pads, but I just assumed it was going to be there. I don't know who took it or why it was gone, but we'll just double jump so our teammate has a free ball. That's why you do that, because our teammate's going to score. I mean, I'm going to score. Same difference. Also, I changed my car design. I wanted something a little bit more realistic, but I still chose an animated decal. <laughs> don't want to ask why. Oh, good lord. Oh, I thought it was going to go crossbar down again. Okay, our teammate is a savior. We take those. And he left me the boost. I like this guy. And he scored. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he seems to be having some scoring issues. And he's almost bumping that guy. Okay, I was going to say, I definitely should have that save. Almost messed up. We're going to get back as fast as possible here. Because he could get ground pinched on. Or who knows what. Pancake? Oh my goodness. I was almost nuts from that guy. Die. 
All right, teammate has a free ball. Yeah, he has lots of space here. Uh, I'm gonna go back because it looks like he just gave away possession. No, I did not. That's what I'm talking about with like the. Oh no, I threw with the disconnect or like the visual problem. Like it did not look like I hit the ball, but I did. Normally it's the other way around. It looks like you're gonna hit it, but you don't. If there's a big uh, desync in the hitbox, I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say, but I think you know what I mean. Okay, I didn't expect him to get a second touch there. It's a bad jump anyways. Oh no. Alright, our team is backwards, but I think he's still got it. I'm just gonna wait for the bang. He jumps slow, so I went up, but I somehow aerialed even slower. I'm not, not even sure how, honestly. But, you know, some good news. If you guys know me, I change my settings like every 30 seconds. But I've actually been on the same settings for like two days so or three days which is crazy for me I know it's crazy so my mechanics should actually be good right now but they they kind of don't feel like it damn we had to just try but I had no boost it's about all we could do there I did play a game before this and we did end up losing which is why I changed car designs again I actually changed car designs before that game as well I think I know why though I was looking at some of my old footage it's pretty interesting what I was doing is exactly the opposite of what you're supposed to. Everyone says you gotta cheat in twos and keep possession in twos, right? But I literally used to, like when I was 1700, I was looking at my videos from back then, I would literally cheat never. Like I would just always go back on kickoff and I would uh, just pretty much bang the ball every time I got it unless I had a perfect flip reset opportunity. And uh, that actually seemed to be doing better. And last night when I was on the road to GC2, that's what I was doing and it was working. I just forgot in this session for some reason. So now that we remember, oh, all right, that was extremely awkward, but there's no way we're gonna miss that. So that's why I wanted the ball teammate. Give, give me the ball, mechanical god. Not really, but, but you know, sometimes I think I am. Okay, let's see, is our teammate going for the boost? No, we're just gonna go off because it looks like he has the ball. I think they should have a clear here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna head back. Oh, nice demo. Well, I wanted to double tap, but that was actually the worst first touch in the history of the world. Oh, we got a demo though. We're chilling. So net's open. I, okay, no, it's not. I didn't think that guy could make it back, but it doesn't matter. We still have a one goal lead. We just gotta play patient here. All right, I'm beat to that, so we're gonna just head back. He should have another touch, but it shouldn't be very good. So. Try to hit it up to our teammate. That was a very risky decision, actually. Don't do that. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get challenged or not, so I just rushed. Fake it. Fake it again. Like, no 50 there would have been good because it would have just banged off their backboard and given them free possession, so. Just better to fake challenge in those situations. Uh, I should have to go for this, I think. Didn't want him to, like, ground pinch on a teammate or anything. Uh, I was trying to pass to a teammate, but I think he was going to go for the ball originally, but he uh, he got off the ball there, so that was good, just made up for it. I'm just going to 50 it, and they double commit as well, so that's going to kill any momentum they had, which is pretty nice. Uh, no point in going for that, yeah. Would have just kept it up, which would have been bad. Alright, here we go, game two, hopefully we catch another dub here. Alright, so I actually have something I wanted to bring up. I guess we'll start with the funny thing. I guess it's kind of a, it's a BM in my eyes. Someone said I sound like Musty, but with a higher pitch voice. Like, like higher pitch? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't really see it, but I'm curious to, oh no. <laughs> oh no. I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. And also, someone said I sound like an African-American female. So apparently my voice is much higher than I think. I don't know. Maybe I just have like an ego thinking my voice isn't high, but apparently it is. I don't know. So many people have told me I sound like squishy though, so it's like conflicting information. I don't know what to make of it. I tried to pass to our teammate and bait the guy in at the same time. It's pretty, pretty nuts. And our teammate did the same with me. All right, we're on the same page here. I definitely should have stayed up a little bit closer there, but I just play really safe in twos. It's almost like a bad habit. 
anyways, yeah, let me know what you guys think of that in the comments. I could even do like a poll on the YouTube channel thing, but I don't think that's really necessary. Alright, I'm just gonna shoot at far post. That was not far post. That was like the middle of the net. Not what you want to see. Uh, I'm gonna challenge. I wasn't sure if our team was going or not. That's why I like hesitated. That was stupid, but it works. Let's see, there was one other thing I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, I don't think I mentioned it in the last game. At least I hope not. This is gonna be terrible, whatever it is. Okay, there we go. My, I don't know if you can tell just by the gameplay, but at least to me, every 50 looks super laggy and just half the opponent's touches. I'm just gonna shoot that. Far post. That was a good save, though. Um, but yeah, I've actually been lagging fairly hard over the last couple weeks, so that's why I haven't up. There is no way. See, like, that's exactly what I mean. I've been lagging for, like, the last two weeks. My internet's just been bad. So I took, like, almost a full week off of playing Rocket League, and then I didn't really work anything obviously so that's why it's been a while uh, but eventually I just came to realize that uh, it just can't be helped like my internet's not coming back you know usually it would be bad for like a few days and then it would calm down again but it just never did and it was a clean wave dash but I didn't really get the shot off so as fast as I wanted so we just gotta you know bear with the internet maybe it'll come back eventually I haven't completely lost all hope um, because I'm gonna be moving runes, and I basically, I use a power line adapter, which is like ethernet, but it uses your power cables, and we're just thinking that the power cables in my room are on a different circuit than the power cables in the room with the router, so, uh, when I switch rooms, it might be on the same circuit, might get better connection, you know, uh, that's what I'm thinking is gonna happen, so, we should be good to go in, like, a couple more weeks when I switch rooms, so, uh, that's a pog, but for now, we just gotta deal with this. Okay, cheating actually worked. Doesn't always work for me. Fake it. Fake it. Oh my god. No, that would have been so sick if I flicked him as well. Oh my. Uh, now our team is going to get scored on. What did I say? <laughs> oh well, I just predicted the future. I'm actually the messiah. But anyways, we're just going to go for his kickoff. Our teammate likes to cheat really aggressively, so I really need to not lose kickoff. Get faked, idiot! We take those. Back to my old tricks. I'm so good at faking. I don't know how. I never mean to do it, though, so that probably means I'm not actually as good as I think. Okay, free ball. As long as our teammate doesn't hit, that is... Oh, no. And I got bumped. I should have just flicked it sooner and expected the bump because it's twos. Just gotta go fast there. <laughs> the wall bounce actually helped us. Faking. Fake challenging in twos is actually OP. Alright, we'll beat to that though. Bang! Right out to our teammate. Turn and shot. I mean shoot. Uh, I don't wanna go for that. A little risky. Uh oh. No, it's my ball. Alright, I wish it wasn't. Help! <laughs> Help! Oh <laughs> uh, no, I threw. I tried to help. Oh, wait, did it actually work? Okay, I don't. Just don't do what I did at all. I just really wanted to go for like a full court flip reset or something. Is that teammate turning? Yeah, I could tell by his body language. Always watch your teammates. All right, we don't have a lot of boost here. So we're gonna need to go for a flip reset, and we score those, baby. Let's go, dude. Clean. It's because he doesn't expect me to have a flip, right? Because I, like, just jumped off the wall. So who would get a flip reset there when he can just flip into the ball, right? But it allows us to delay it a little bit. So it's actually, like, 200 IQ. Oh, and I gotta say thanks. I never pay attention to chat when I'm recording. I don't understand. Like, when I solo queue regularly, I always, like, adamantly am typing, like, nice shot, great pass. That was terrible. I tried to 50 him with that second touch there, but... I wasn't even close. Just tried to beat him, but... Ended up killing him somehow. And I'm not really sure how that happens. I thought I was going to get beat, to be honest. Oh, that's really, really, really bad. Okay. Our teammate made it back, though, so he's clutch. Uh, still, this boost, that guy doesn't have any. And we'll get the mid boost. Alright. Shite. That's really bad as well. I wanted to go for another clip, just for YouTube, but I guess I should be happy with a flip reset. I also was trying to pop that, but we don't talk about that. 
Oh. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I thought he missed. We're chilling. This car's actually nuts, apparently. I'm actually genuinely very pleasantly surprised, and they forfeited. This car turned out to be really nice, actually. I did lose the first game, but I just cut it out. We even got 1,600. Look at that. I honestly don't dislike the car at all. I, I honestly might use it. Like, it's actually pretty decent. So if you guys did enjoy that, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. Uh, also, if my internet ever comes back, I'm going to get back to streaming like twice a week. Because I was doing that for almost a month before my internet went poo-poo. So uh, if you could drop a Twitch, that would be much appreciated. Although, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to start streaming again. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the car and what I said about the, the higher pitch musty voice. Or if I sound like a girl. Uh, catch you guys in the next one and peace out.